Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And you're wonderful. Son name. In Jesus' name we pray. Let the church say amen. 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 The fourth chapter. We read. Verse 12. Only. Amen. You have it say amen. Amen. For the word of God is quick. And powerful. And sharper than any two-edged sword. Person even to the dividing and the asunder of the soul and the spirit. And of the joints and the marrow. And it, and it is a discerner of the thoughts and the intent of the heart. Amen. Amen. You may be seated. Look at your neighbor and say, sharpen up your knife. Sharpen up your knife. Sharpen up your knife. Good God Almighty. It's time to sharpen, sharpen up, up your, your knife. knife. Jesus. Iron sharpening. <laughs> Jesus. We're going to find Sharpen up that knife. That iron sharpened iron today. Amen. Because we need our knives sharpened. Amen. And if y'all know what the knife is, it's the sword. Yes. And yes. we know the sword is the word. So some of us we have to sharpen up mm. our knife, our word of God. Yeah. 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 Listen, put on your Holy Ghost today. Amen. Iron sharpening iron means the benefit and rubbing two iron blades together. Mm -hmm. That the edges become sharper making the knives more efficient in their test to cut and slice things amen likewise of the word of god and with that we are to sharpen one another amen in times of meeting and fellowship and and in, in, in any other interaction amen see what's going on today is iron sharpening iron. That's right. I was sitting back and I was listening to the pastor earlier mm -hmm. and I was listening to Apostle. It was sharpening up yes. what I already had. Yes. Amen. Yes. See, yes. when you get two irons together, yes. they're already iron, yes. but when you put them together, hallelujah, yes. guess what happened? Yes. They start getting sharper. Yes. Jesus. And the sharper we get, the more we can cut off things. Yes. See, some of us got to cut away some things. Yes. Oh, wow. oh, Jesus. But you can't cut them off if your sword is dull. So we got to come and sharpen our lives. Good God Almighty. Because as we still in the flesh, there's stuff that have to be cut. Or a continuous cutting have to take place. That's right. So as we iron sharp now, we get a chance to cut some. Out of our lives, and not watch this here. And some people that's attached to us, we, got, we have to cut. You know, some of the hardest things is to cut some of the things of the attachments that's in our lives. Yes. Because our flesh loves it so much. And the only thing you can cut it is the Word of God. Yes. But if your sword is dull, it can't cut. Amen. Amen. And some of y'all want some things out of your life, but, yes. your, but, but, but your knife is dull. So even though you're doing, you're cutting it, it won't move because you ain't got that, that sharpness to the knife. Speak, Lord. Come on, work with it. Work with it. Use them, Holy Ghost. The book of Proverbs indicates that the need for constant fellowship with one another acts. 
talks about it in chapter 2 in the early church it said that they that, that they devoted themselves to teaching to fellowship and communion yes and prayer and all corporate activities that provided opportunity for sharpening one another it's something you call a prayer and they did not be there when you're not at prayer, you're not sharpening them. Amen. Amen. When the pastor called us to come in for something, mm -hmm. it's for real, it's to sharpen your tools. Yes. 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 But because you're not here, your knife stay dope. Yes. Yes. And you're wondering why all sorts of things is connected to you. Because mm -hmm. you don't have your knife sharp enough to cut it off. Jesus. 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 You yes. Your, your knife ain't sharp enough, so you can cut it off. Some of y'all want to cut up, but you can't because your knife is not sharp enough. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's real talk. Yeah. There are results in the early church that they were filled with awe. And when they met together, they praised God for the favor that they found with one another with all. Do you know something stronger than money? The favor of God. That's right. That's right. That's right. See, we ain't supposed to chase money. Money is supposed to chase, chase us. us. Hallelujah. That's right. I thought everything was supposed to submit. Yeah. <laughs> If you get right with God, everything happens to me. Your husband, your wife, got to me. Your children got to submit. Your husband, your wife, got to submit. Y'all don't want to talk to me up here. See, when we get in the presence of God, the good of everything don't have to submit. Yeah. It's time out for church as usual. Come Speak, Lord. Hallelujah. Somebody say, sharpening up our tools. Sharpening up our tools. Matthews 8 and 20 say, when two or more is gathered in my name, <laughs> then I am in the midst there. That's right. That's right. The law of two is powerful. Yes. Woo. The book of Thessalonians said that two is better than one. Yes. Woe to them that have another to pick them when they fall. Yes. Yes. Wow. Now watch this happen. We ain't talking about falling on the ground. Yeah, yeah. We're talking about when your faith falls. Yeah. 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 And you don't have nobody to strengthen you. Wow. Yes. Yes. Wow. Yes. So you lay right there in the ditch. Yes. Yes. Wow. Yes. Or you lay right there in your mess. Yes. 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 Two is better than one. That's why. We have to yoke up. Amen. We have to get with somebody. Yes. Most of the time we need to get with people that are a little bit stronger than us. Yes. Hey. Yes. That's good. We got to get with people stronger than us. Yes. Because it's going to take two hours. Yes. Ah. Iron and wood ain't going to stop. Iron and rubber ain't gonna stop. <laughs> so you need something as hard as you are. Beautiful. You need another iron piece. <laughs> some of y'all trying to sharpen your iron with some wood. Equally Equally <laughs> the only way you can sharpen your iron, you got to have iron. That's right. Amen. So the iron is representing the word of God. Yes. So if you're getting someone talking something else, yeah. you're talking the word of God, ain't no sharp no more. Girl, I was at the club last night, but I was at Bible study. Ain't no iron. Girl, I was over at my brother's house, but I was in Bible study. Girl, I ain't stopping. <laughs> Ain't no 
shopping going on. Two can't walk unless they're in agreement. That's right. That don't sound like agreement. Talking about shopping up our nine, so we got to get something just yeah. like us. That's right. Woo. Thank you, Lord. Too many Christians trying to shop in their iron with the wrong utensils. Come on, yeah. Come on. Come on. Jesus. Good God Almighty. Use them. I guarantee you this: if you hang around the hot dog stand, you're going to soon buy the hot dog. dog. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you might not even like hot dog. But hang on. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Oh yeah! <laughs> That's how powerful sin is. Yeah. Sin will pull you in yeah. with your good Christian self. Sin don't care how Christian you are. Yeah. We can save our flesh and get saved. So when the enemy call, he coming out for your fast. Yes. He come where you like to feel good at. That's it. 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 Jesus. God wants us to come. On one accord. Yes. 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 God wants us to be more about the things of God. Yes. 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 Malachi three sixteen talked about when we when we sharpen one another, the real Christian fellowship, those who fear the Lord and talk with each other, and the Lord listen and heard them. Let me tell you something. When two Christians get to talking about God or praising God and lifting up, you know, God be, be putting the thing in heaven and looking down and say, say what can I do to bless my two babies? Yeah. Yeah. You, know, you know, when the children get to bragging on you, you know, my mother this, my daddy this here, and we hear about it, it makes us feel so good. That's the way the Lord is. When they see us talking about when we just get together and our conversation is yes. holy and set yes. apart from the world, yeah, like we'll it. start yeah. talking about God and, like and the goodness it. of God and yes. what God yes. has done yes. for us. And yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Lord God. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. 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 Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Can I talk a little bit more about iron sharpening iron? Yes. Iron sharpening iron is an opportunity to fulfill the law of Christ. Wow. The Apostle Paul said that we are to carry and share the issues and burdens that we are faced with daily. That's right. But not to land it over. God don't want us to walk around talking about how sad uh, and, and how bad our situation is. Yeah. We're supposed to speak to that mountain and tell it over. Yeah. 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 How about the yeah. power within the tongue? Yeah. Life and death will be there. Y'all yeah. don't know this is happening to me. That ain't no iron something in an iron. You got two words in your hand. <laughs> you got two sticks in your body. You ain't getting ready to bring the Holy Ghost fire. You ain't ready to make a, a certain fire that's going to burn you. You got two sticks in your body. You're going to burn up. So kill yourself. Go on. That's what it does. It brings you into a depression. Yeah. That's right. You end up killing your own self. Yeah. 
right. Amen. The word over. Yes, Lord. Speak to your situation. Yes, Lord. Amen. I dare some of y'all to start speaking to them situation. Yeah. Call them though they not that they are. Yes, Lord. That's right. Tell your situation. Yes, Lord. Who is in control? Yes. yes. The Bible says, "Count it all joy." Yeah. Woo! Thank you, Jesus. Why would it say count it all joy? Because the Bible says the, the joy of the Lord is my strength. Yeah. Hallelujah. I can count it joy because I got the sin of God in it. I got the iron side of the iron with it. Woo. When I fall into the temptation. Mm. So mm -hmm. now I can speak yes. to my situation. Yes. And tell it to get out of here. Yes, Lord. Mm-mm-mm-mm. Thank you, Jesus. Y'all ain't speaking over. Y'all not over. Ooh. Come on. Oh, poor me. Oh, you want a drink? That's what you want. Oh, <laughs> you want a drink? That won't do it. I guarantee you. Get that done. It won't do it. Yeah. That's what the world do, y'all. You know what I mean? The world run to drinks and drugs to fun. To, to try to deal with their situation. We run to Christ as Christian. Amen. Amen. When they get rough for us, we get on our knees and we tell our daddy all about it. Hey, yeah. Amen. See, when I was in the world, guess what? I, did? I ran to the alcohol man. I ran to the drug man because guess what? That was my God. Yeah. That's right. Say it. That's right. But now I'm a, I'm, 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 I'm a born again. I run to Christ now. That's right. In this situation, I go tell my daddy. And next thing I know, in a few minutes, I'm a few seconds. Oh, so the situation changed. Yeah. <laughs> I thought the word said it's clear and powerful. Stop it in two hands, Lord. Touch even the marrows in the chest. Touch even your Moses, they don't disappear. Yes, Lord. Touch uh -huh. even it knows what's on your heart. Somebody right now. 
I was angry and still alright, but the Bible said we can be angry but sin. Sin not. I was sin and I cracked it. Amen. 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 Jesus. That's right. Let our life be towards love and good deeds. Yes. Yes. Let us not give up in meeting together so we can continue to build character yes. and, me and mentoring relationships. Yes. The problem is a lot of us, we don't know how to have relationships. Amen. Amen. We haven't been taught how to have relationships. Relationship ain't got nothing to do with jumping in the bed. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's a rust baby. That's right. Amen. 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 Especially if it ain't your husband, it's definitely a rust baby. Come on, right. Hallelujah. 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 When I say them, I'm going to say this so it's the truth. Amen. <laughs> Second is not the power of God's will. Hallelujah. Second, you plug up the holes. God forgive you, but plug the holes up. That's right. Amen. That's right. Plug in your holes. Hallelujah. Get it right. 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 Then they go the 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 law of the land saying that He said you know by the 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 the
Man, my wife calculates stuff real quick, but I tell her, deal with everything. When it comes to the word of God, she can't touch it. Nah, I can't touch it, man.
That's right. Be the ladder. That's right. Be the ladder. That's right. Not talk, but live a life in front of you. That's how you afford the best of life. Girl, you should do this. Girl, I told you don't do that. That ain't going to help them. We stubborn people. We don't listen to people. But if you just live in front of them day after day and they keep seeing your life, something will rub off you like them. Something will rub off one of the eyes and start shining the other eyes. Wow. Amen. Come on, y'all, give God praise.